G'day everybody and welcome back for another day of fishing. Today we're going to get into fishing down near CJ's dive shop. And we're going to get into that straight away. What do we have pots out down there? Which boat's here? That's why. But we're going to get into fishing down here now. So we're going to pull up the info and find out what's going good. So at the moment, mackerel are going pretty good. And yellowtail snapper, but I'm pretty sure they can only be caught with the fishing pole. I think we've only got a two star rig for our fishing setup. Right, sailfish, I'm pretty sure they're. Yep, rod as well. Oh, red tail snapper, are alright. We can get them in the net. We've got mackerel, can we catch them in the net? Yep. So at the moment we're looking at Northern Red Snapper and Mackerel. Don't be enticed by the Florida Stone Crabs because you won't catch them. But let's go to our boat. Let's see, let's do a bit of upgrading on our storage. We'll take that out to the max. So that we can catch all of our fish quota and then we're also going to fill our shellfish quota as well on the shrimp because they can also be caught in the nets so let's just refuel while we're here it only cost us 38 percent fuel to get down here so that's always a bonus and if you notice down in the left corner here any hole that you did that you repair here deteriorates 50% slower after you've repaired it here so it's always good to repair your bigger boats at CJ's because it'll stop them from deteriorating as quickly right, so let's launch this one and we'll go for I reckon Northern Red Snapper first so I think they had the better price And they were everywhere around us. Let's see, can we highlight the dock again? Yes. Alright, so... Yeah, Northern Red Snapper are worth more than Mackerel, so we'll be able to get more money off of them. So we'll fill the boat up with them first, but... The reason why I want to go for shrimp as well is because they're caught with the net as well. So the only way to catch them is with the net, super net or ultra net. But they're also really close by. So if I turn the red snapper off, there's a big patch of them right there, right near where all of our red snapper is. So I'm going to put a marker down here, and then I'm going to zoom in a bit, and reposition that one in that mouth there, and another one down here, we'll move it a bit further down, and we're going to go down and trawl along that section, and go into these little islands here. what we forgot to put on this boat sonar because we're going to need that to be able to find all the fishies but we should get a fair few chests out of fishing with this as well wrong button I'm 
I got a little bit of something here already. Alright, I'm going to fast, tra uh, not fast travel, I'm going to speed up the video from here and we'll come back to it once we've hit some shrimp or once we've hit some fish. We'll caught something at least anyway. Bloody engine broken. some good timing on them. Right, back to the fast travel. That's something we forgot to check. It's what depth it likes to sit at the bottom, so we've probably just hit the start of the snapper patch. We've got all sorts of things here, so we'll drop our net to the bottom and see what we pull up. The good thing is, is that if we pull up stuff that we don't want, we can always throw it out and regain our fish quota or shellfish quota. Although the only shellfish we should catch in this net is shrimp. and this is why we make our way down towards CJ's because you always get a lot of fish on your sonar I mean at the moment we're getting middle fish, bottom fish as well as crustaceans or shellfish at the bottom so we're getting all sorts of stuff showing up on the scanner now it's just a matter of hoping we get the stuff that we want See now, although the fish have disappeared off the bottom section, I've still got my net in because it's showing crustaceans on the bottom area, and shrimp are technically crustaceans, and we should be in the shrimp area. So we'll just keep the net down until it decides to retrieve itself. Well, looks like we found more fish in the bottom area anyway. Hopefully they're the right ones. Hopefully these are the right fish we're going through. We can only hope. There we go, we got 
got some summer flounder as well, so we don't want the summer flounder. Let's just stop our boat completely. So to get rid of the summer flounder, we scroll into here, we select the summer flounder. It says, do you wish to dump this back in the store? back into the ocean. This will free up storage and replenish quota. Yes! So now we only have the Northern Red Snapper. Let's go ahead and re-drop our net. And hopefully this is the Red Snapper patch that we're in and not the Summer Flounder patch. It appears there was no shrimp in this net, so those lines at the bottom must be crab. But at least we're on the fish. It's a new region. It looks like we're going to have to open the map up soon and see whereabouts we are. Looks like we've almost made it to the mouth that we we're aiming for. Hopefully we're catching nothing but northern snapper and shrimp now. We're in the right areas. And I just recorded all of that without talking. <laughs> what I said was, we've caught some shrimp now, so hopefully we're just catching shrimp and northern red snapper in this area. And uh, I waited until the net was fully deployed before moving, so that we have a higher chance of catching more. Now we're on the shrimp. What I might just do... Stop 
but quickly. Cool the next up. Let's see what fish we were catching. Mainly northern red snappers, so we'll just ditch the couple of summer flounder that we caught. We're up to 113 pounds of shrimp now. But what I want to do is place a marker there so that we know between the red and the orange. There's a nice stock of red snapper. And then between the orange and the blue is where our shrimp are. Oh, why am I going already? I forgot to deploy my nets. Gears out. Let's see how much shrimp we can get. <coughs> and of course, it goes straight off of three shrimp as soon as we start moving. Bloody bastard. That's alright, we're still going to do a bit of a loop and then come back along this stretch so hopefully we get more shrimp Alright, the green mark is just the next waypoint that we're heading to. It's in the middle of both shrimp and fish areas. I was just repositioning the blue marker so that it's actually on the gap that we need to go for. But we've just about run out of the shrimp area by the looks of it. But there'll be more patches out there. Alright, so we've ran off that patch, so I've retrieved the net so that we can move a bit quicker. Well, it looks like we've still got a few fish in there anyway. So we'll just get rid of that black drum. We're up to a few more pounds of shrimp. Hopefully we find some more patches before using too much more fuel. And you'd think there'd be something across the middle of these patches. Here we go, we're on something. Fish is good fish. Alright, so we're going to hunt this patch down a bit. That one 
ran out a little bit too quickly for my liking. So hopefully we can find the three patch area of it and get some more shrimp. Now I'm thinking it's going to be along this coastline here, back towards that blue dot. Just a funny feeling. Well, it looks like I was right. It's all along that coastline. Looks like everything's along that strip at the moment, so we might just head back down that strip area. Might just turn before we get too close to that coast. Of course. Let's drop the notes while we're waiting. Just thought I'd quickly empty the nets while we were in a blank spot.
Alright, so we've fit it, hit our limit of red snapper now. So now we just need to max out our shrimp. And as soon as so we've got a bit of fuel left, we might get rid of that marker and those markers. And head out this way. So hopefully we can find some more shrimp out this way so that we don't catch more snapper. Oh, we're already on some shrimp. I'm sure, yeah, I was going to say, I'm sure I'm going to have to retract that straight away. We don't want fish on our radar, so we'll go back to fast traveling. So it looks like our shrimping trip wasn't ex as successful as we were hoping it would be. We didn't seem to quite catch quite as many as we thought we would. But we still got quite a few. We're going to head back towards the dock now because we're running out of fuel. But we should get a decent payday from the Northern Red Snapper at least. I think they're eight dollars a pound at the moment or near on so we'll get well, what, 24,000 roughly out of that we've got just under half a ton of shrimp the sonar on still anyway just in case we hit another big shrimp patch because they are moving around as we noticed when we were doing the strip We've got enough fuel to do one more lap. Let's just tangle the nets quickly.
do one more run along this strip and then we'll head back. We should have just enough fuel, hopefully. enough I reckon we've hit different seafood and different crustaceans anyway there we go another 300 pounds of shrimp so that takes us to about 800 pounds yeah, we'll drop a marker up here and where's that chest spawned close by. I might just go jump in the river and collect that quickly. Probably should have marked it with a marker. fish on it. Oh, it does. 200 pounds of clam. Because I've got the dredge set up on this one. And our whaler boat's still around near the dock, set up with crab nets out. chest quickly and then we'll run back to CJ's dock with the other boat, CJ's dive shop. And hopefully we should get some, another chest or two for selling everything. And then we'll open up all of our chests and see what we get.
It's a good thing we did decide to head back when we did, we're almost out of fuel. Probably had enough for another pass, but better safe than sorry. Don't want to lose our fish. But let's see how much we made. I'm thinking around... Mm, 32,000, including the shrimp. Shrimp prices are down. Twenty-four thousand. Well, we only got two grand for the shrimp, but we got twenty-two thousand for the red snapper, so that's not too bad. It's only two thousand less than what I thought. All right, let's open these chests. All right, we have nineteen gold at the moment. We've got two chests, so let's open them both at once and see what bonus we get. Ten gold. So we actually got twenty gold. I think the more chests that you open at once, the more multiplier you get. So it is better to open multiple chests at once. Because we opened two, got ten gold, and ended up with twenty gold instead. But we're going to leave it there for this episode, and we'll see you again in the next one. I'm going to do a bit of uh, sport fishing while we're offline, or while we're off camera, and get our levels up a little bit with our sport fishing. What are we at the moment? We're level 13. I'm going to try and get us up to... Level 15, maybe maybe level 20, so that we've got better fishing gear available for us. And I'll get back to you then. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode.